but 9-11 has um, opened a new experience, a new eye-opening for me and the people that live in this country that call themselves Muslims, for we have um, experienced money prejudice against us. The U.S. has changed after 9-11. Um, there's been many policies that has been created uh, after 9-11, such as you were, um, you know, subject to um, second screening when you're at the airport, or, um, you know, they, they will, anybody can pick on you when you're at the airport because your last name is Mohammed or Hassan. Uh, lucky me, my last name is Hassan. Um, so uh, a lot of ch things have changed, whether it's schools, uh, whether it's laws, whether it's, um, you know, everyday experience. And uh, we live to experience that. It's, it has been a lot of negative experience. But there's also positive experience, too. There are people who are fighting against that. There are people who are fighting against Islamophobia, which um, started after 9-11, which still continues and to be a problematic for the people that live in this country. For me personally, um, the biggest news event that changed my view of America was 9-11. Um, I remember I was actually sleeping when uh, the World Trade Center was bombed, and I get a call, a phone call from my mother saying that, you know, there has been um, a bombing at the World Trade Center, and everything from that on has changed. You know, there has been, it has been an eye-opening. You have to look at TV every day and see, you know, there has been a Muslim country that has, you know, is experiencing problems. There has been a Muslim uh, person that has been detained. Uh, there's a Muslim person that has been, you know, targeted because of, you know, uh, Islamophobia. So everything has changed for the people um, that live in the United States. Luckily, we live in Minnesota, and Minnesota, they say Minnesota nice. So that comes into play. So a lot of incidents, you know, don't happen in Minnesota, and there is a large... Uh, a very large the most reliable and Minnesota. balanced news aggregation service in the world, RWN offers the following information published by the Gateway Pundit on Tuesday night Hadan Hassan won her Democrat primary for Minneapolis House District 6-2A. She is the second Somali American to likely be a state representative. Hadan Hassan believes Muslims in the United States are victims following the 9-11 attacks on America. This video was posted by Voice of America Somala in 2011. Hadan Hassan told the audience that Muslims in America have been targeted since 9 to 11. Hadan Hassan, well, to tell you the truth, 9 to 11 have changed a lot of things for the Muslims in the United States. My experience, post 9 to 11, there have been a lot of negative experiences as a Muslim, especially a Muslim woman in the United States. There have been many incidents where people have been targeted, where people have been discrimination, name-calling, vandalism of mosques. 9 to 11 have opened a new experience, a new eye-opening for me and the people that live in this country and call themselves Muslim for we have experienced many prejudice against us. Hadan Hassan's words are not accurate. As the Gateway Pundit reported in 2009 hate crimes against Muslims declined for several years after the 9-11 Islamist attacks on America. And in fact there were more hate crimes against Christians during the same time period.